gonna be ready when that time come? Or are you gonna continue to indulge in the imagination of your own heart? Then all these curses are gonna come upon us, right? Curse shall thou be in the city. Yeah, we shot the rock with time. Yeah, about shit, we have a shot rock with time. All right, tell him I'm going to lock in by keeping his word and security. Yeah, I don't want to go. Kill him. She didn't like wearing dresses? Did you like wearing dresses? Not at all. It's just, it just due to obedience. And it ain't something that just happened overnight. You got to get around certain, you, it got to be a part of the culture. You got to get around other sisters that doing it. But a lot of times- oh, I love dresses though, I wear them. Okay, okay. But that's all, and, and, and uh, like I say, the, um, our sister's dressing modest also. But give me the, um, give me the Deuteronomy 7, 6. Let me build up. <laughs> <laughs> Tell Eddie to come on with it. Tell Eddie to come on with it. Eddie, that's Eddie, come on with it. <laughs> this is the book he of Deuteronomy. Said, he said, when y'all gonna be back up here? Uh, we week. up here. You got the flyer? Yeah. Because there's a number on there he can call. We got Zoom classes. He can get into Zoom classes, ask any questions. And uh, we back up. We'll be here the next Sabbath at uh, from 3 See, until I like 3 until 6. Then I came to knowledge of this because of him. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. All our children name after we got a Judah, we got a Moshe, right. we got a Genesis, right. you know, all their names, excuse me. I'm still unfriendly, we are a tribe of Judah, so that's why I know what we're doing. Right, 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 right. But he, he don't win somewhere else real quick, you know, so I don't know. But that's why he probably asking when y'all going to be back up here. Yeah, we'll be back up here uh, next Sabbath from 3 to uh, to like 6. The next Sabbath? Yeah, next Saturday. Next Saturday, Eddie, they'll be up here from 3-6. And then, like I say, you got the information on the fly. Okay. Tell Eddie, he can text me the, the said, number Eddie, on the fly. Can, Eddie, he said you can text him too. You can text me the number on the fly. The number on the fly. The number is on the fly, Brother Fiend. I'm going to call you back because you got no going script. No, nah, we ain't going. Give me that Deuteronomy 7 shit. We building it up. No, nah, that's it. They've been there with Deuteronomy 7 6. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. So we're supposed to be, we are holy people, meaning we are set apart people. We're supposed to be different from the world. When you see the Muslim, when you see that Muslim sister and she completely covered up and walking, you tell she's separate from the world. Ain't nobody gonna whistle at her. Ain't nobody gonna holler at her. You know what I'm saying? She completely, you know, that she in a whole nother uh, doctrine and a philosophy. She live by a certain set. You, we can't even, we, we know not to even mess. It's gonna be too much work. Right. We know we gonna have to be a Muslim. We gonna have to pray five times a day. You know what I'm saying? We understand that. And that's how our sisters are supposed to be. When they see our sisters, they supposed to already know, no matter what nation it is, they supposed to already know, I can't mess with that. That's just another higher standard. That's that's goal right there. I'm just gonna mess with the little thoughts. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna work on the thoughts. I'm just keep it there. Cause it's too much, it ain't work. I gotta marry her. Yeah. I'm gonna have to marry her. You see what I'm saying? And so that's 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 the set of partners. The most high made us a great nation. And we supposed to be a light. We supposed to be a light unto the rest of the world. The only reason the world the way it is because we we if homosexuality, we the best at it church right false religion we the best at it you know what i'm saying we lead the movement in it transsexuals we we super flamed out right we ain't like ellen we ain't all modest like ellen trying to be cool and collected we we gotta be extra we out there we out there and that's and and then we influence they use us to influence the rest of the world just like cardi b and megan and staff they gotta outdo little kim they make little kim look you know what I'm saying? Look, Ken was probably the worst thing. You know, they were they were boycotting and everything. 
But now they got uh, Megan Thee Stallion and, and, and then the people that's gonna come after that. See, if we don't check that, it's gonna they just gonna be they just gonna be butt naked. It's gonna be porn. The videos are gonna turn into porn. They're gonna literally be having sex on the videos. Right now, they you know they ain't really know. Um, they can cuss and they can uh, they can pretty much you know they may show a nipple or something. Right now, but yeah, I just saw on Facebook the other day with a little girl. She was like seven and was all on Instagram. Y'all saw that mm -hmm. and she was um taking pictures of herself mm -mm. and everybody was trying no, to No, I seen, mom. I think I seen that. Yeah, everybody was trying to get on the mama because people whooping her and stuff. Right. Home, but she was doing a lot though. You know, the little girl right, right, right. And, and then they got on the mama for whooping. Exactly. I ain't understand that. See what I'm, because that's what the world, the world is telling us how to raise our kids. And that's why it's imperative that we come back to these law statutes and commandments and raise them according to what the scriptures say. Give me um, Proverbs 13, 24. And raise them like the scriptures say. Now the world gonna say you can't touch them kids, and that's why they get they they get like that. And that's the dangers of that phone, man, because it opens them up to so much stuff that we weren't really opened up to. Like we wasn't we we didn't get to see stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Like me and my father, when we were 16, 17, we had to we had to hide porn. We had to buy. It. We had to go spend 50, 60 dollars. Now it's just everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Kids can just type in anything now and then they get over over hypersexualized and then that's when they got to get into homosexuality like the men just some regular stuff don't really do it for them no more they got to go into the other avenues or even to animals and stuff like that but see it'll never end <laughs> if we don't if we don't check it. <laughs> brother roger like oh uh -uh. but it, it'll, it'll end up like that It'll end up like that. What I had you hold Proverbs. Proverbs 13, 24. Bring that up. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 13, and verse 24. He that spared his rod hateth his son. He that spared his rod, he hate his son. He hate him. Come on. But he that loveth him chasteneth him be times. Be times, many times. Many times. So we gotta, we gotta, we gotta listen to, to what the scripture with the, and that's why we can't conform to that's what give me that um that Romans 12 again. We can't conform to the ways of the world because the world gonna tell us to raise them this way, to run our house this way, to cook this way, to do this, and we just, all we, everything, see, we have our instruction manual. And that's what happens, we try to build things without the instruction manual. You ever got some furniture to the house, and then- Try to do it your way, and, and you try And the stuff don't end up working yep. right. Uh -huh. It don't end up working right, the drawers all wiggly, you're gonna you put the nail in the wrong slot. In the wrong slot. And then sometimes you're too lazy to correct it. I'm coming down, I'm coming. Then you're too lazy to correct it. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to put the energy in to getting it back in order, to get it back right. Right. 12 and 2. This is the book of Romans, chapter 12 and verse 2. And be not conformed to this world. Uh huh. Be ye transformed. By the renewing of your mind. Of the mind, there it is. Be transformed. Metamorphu. That's the word in Greek, meaning metamorphosis. Be transformed. Turn into that butterfly by the renewing of the word. And we got to meditate on this word to do that. So if we meditate on the world, if we meditate on Gucci, man, we're going to be cooking dope. We're going to be cooking dope. But if we meditate on the word, we're going to be, gonna be living in righteousness. I ain't going to hold you up, so I'm going to let you yeah, go. I'm going to have right the there, rest of it with Brother Eddie. Eddie. <laughs> yeah, brother Eddie, brother Eddie went and yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have the rest of brother Eddie. Right now, you know. All right, Roddy, take care, brother. Bro, yeah. Roddy, all right, brother. Yeah, because I don't read like the book of Jash and everything. Like, wait, you know how you keep digging and digging and he on the dove somewhere else and now he's somewhere else. Right. You know, but he's coming up there. Yeah, all praises, all yeah. praises. See, I, I appreciate you your time, sis. So again, it's imperative that we come back to these law statutes and commandments, man. We ain't got a lot of time. We ain't got a lot of time. Tomorrow I ain't promised. Give me um give me Acts 5 and 29. Give me Acts 5 and 29. We can't conform to the world. We can't deal with the philosophies of this world. How you doing, L? Do you believe in the scriptures? Yes, sir. You know that Jesus Christ was a black man? Yes, sir. You know that we the true children of Israel, God's chosen nation of people. You know today's the day, the Lord's Sabbath day. Huh? Saturday the seventh day, right? And just no buying, no shopping. 
No working. No cooking. No cooking. Let me give you this one thing since you know all that. Let me give you this one, one, one verse right real quick. Give me Leviticus 19. the book of uh, Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 29 and verse 27 ye shall not round the corners of your head neither shall thou mar the corners of thy beard Time for a net time. That's all I want to hit you with, brother. Yes, sir. Every Saturday. Yes, sir. All right, man. All right, God bless, brother. So it's imperative that we come. Give me that that Acts 5 uh, 29. This is the book of Acts, chapter 5, and verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. It says we ought to obey God rather than men, man. So men ain't gonna tell you not to whoop your kids. Men ain't gonna tell you, nah, you, you shouldn't you shouldn't whoop your kids, just put them in the corner. Just give them time out. And that's why these kids, that's why we have so many murders in Chicago, man. Because we trying to time out, I could be trying to, we trying to conform to this world. We listening to what the world says and telling us how to raise our kids instead of thus says the Lord. And that's why our issues come in that, man. Lean it and then lean it to our own understanding. Give me that. Give me that too, man. Proverbs 14 12. We start winding it in. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 14, and verse 12. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. It said, There's a way that seemeth right unto a man. But the end thereof are the ways of death. A lot of times we feel like what we're doing is the right thing, man. We've been thinking we've been doing the right thing the whole time. And we got we got four baby daddies, man. We thinking that we done chose the right man. We thinking we done chose the right school and then we done moved to this white neighborhood. Sent our school kids to this white school. He the only one there. And then found out he getting picked on, man. And he being called the N-word. Or the school telling them they got to cut off their dreads. We be thinking we doing the right thing. But the scripture says, come ye out of her. Be not partakers of her sin. Separate yourselves, man. Be a holy and peculiar nation of people. But we want to, we want to, we want to, we want to con 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 converge into, we want to combine into this system, man. And that's our problem because we thinking that's the right thing to do instead of doing thus says the Lord, man. You don't have to guess. You can know what's what's right and what's good. Give me that in uh, Deuteronomy 6 and 17. What you, you had something? This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 6 and 17. Ye shall diligently keep the commandments of the Lord your God and his testimonies and his statutes which he hath commanded thee. And thou shalt do that which is right and good. And you shall do that which is right and good. You keep these law, statutes, and commandments diligently. You are doing those things that are right and good, man. You don't have to guess. But with the world, right and good is changing every day, man. Every year, right is changing, man. Bad is changing. Those things that were bad last year I, I, I ain't, I ain't bad this year, man. Those things that were illegal last year or 10 years ago, they ain't illegal today. The world changes, man. The word of God does not, man. Does not. So you got to be faithful and true to that thing, man. And the benefits don't change. That it may be well with thee and that thou mayest go in and possess the good land which the Lord swear unto thy father. So you can go in and possess the holy land, man. So you can go in and, put, and, and, and enter into freedom. 
That's what I'm saying. You have independence, but you don't have freedom, man. Because freedom has a requirement. It's, it's a lot of effort. It's a heavy burden that comes with freedom. But you have your independence to go get freedom, but you don't have the mindset. You don't have the effort. You don't have the zeal to go get it. We've actually been running away from freedom the last four, five hundred years, man. We've been literally running away from freedom.